Okay, in this video, we're just going to have a look at elemental templates and why they might not be showing where you want them to show. So we've just got a blank site here. I'm logged in into the dashboard. So what we'll do is jump into the dashboard here. And if we just start from the main menu, we can we can kind of go from there. So we've got Elementor installed, obviously. We've made the template we want. So if we come to templates, um, as a kind of starter, this always seems to happen on every version of Elementor I've used. The, the templates never seem to show, so you have to click one of these. And I, I have no idea why that bug still exists, but it, it seems to. It's been around for a long time. So I've just imported a few Elementor Pro headers, footers, bits and pieces, just to kind of show you some bits here. So um, for example, the header, we've got it here. You can see they're supposed to all be published and they are published, but you can kind of see here, there is no header. So if you're sort of wondering where that is, if you click into the your header or whatever it is that's not showing and then go to edit with Elementor, you can kind of see here so it's supposed to look like this and and we've got this just kind of blank page and the issue here is that the template's created and the template's published but the template hasn't been assigned and you might think well with a header surely it just gets assigned to the whole site but it, it's not technically the case in elemental so what you'll find is if you haven't edited anything in it uh, or sorry you haven't assigned it to anything what you'll find if I just change this quickly and allow an update. When I hit update, it will ask me where I want to display the template. And you can skip this process. You don't actually have to do it. You can just save and close it without adding a condition. And by not adding a condition, I think a lot of people just assume, well, I just want to show it everywhere. So just do that. I don't want to you know, have a condition where it doesn't show in places. But the thing is, it won't show anywhere without it. So what you can do is uh, you can either do it this way. If that pop up doesn't show up, the other way to get back to it whilst you're in your editing menu, if you come down to here, save option. So just next to update or publish, press the little arrow and it'll pop up with this little menu. And you can see here we've got the saving options, save as a template. And we've also got these display conditions and that will just bring back that same menu. So you can see here. And if we jump into this add condition, you can see now by default, we've got entire site. So that essentially, obviously we save it and then it will update itself. You don't have to hit update. We can come back to this, hit refresh. You might find it's possible that it still won't show. And then you'll probably just have to purge your cache or whatever you've got going on. If you've got quite aggressive cache going on and it's working for logged in users, you might find that you need to do that but generally that should fix that issue so now this is showing up and it might be actually that you don't want to show it on every page and the reason for that so you know a header normally you would show it on every page but there, there are reasons why you not might not want to so let's say for example if we add in add a condition what we can do is we could potentially exclude it so let's say for example we had a page where it was like a landing page. So you can kind of see in here, there is a bit in there called landing pages, but it might just be that it's a page ID or something that you want to hide it on. So you, you can just do it by lots of different things. You can do it for your home page. You might want a different menu, for example, or you might want a simplified header. Like say for landing pages, you might want to just completely remove the header and just have it so that it's the main content and not interrupted by a header and footer so you've got plenty of options in here like I say you could do it for categories um, if you do want to do it for a page you can just sort of come in hit pages and then you get an additional drop down and you can just sort of type in what it is that you want to hide it for so you know for example landing page policy page whatever it is so you can do that in there so you've got this whole kind of list of things one thing some people might do is have two headers and then, uh, you know, like a simplified header and potentially some pages have the simplified header. Some pages have a, a different header. And a good example of that is um, if you will go to a services page, for example, on a, uh, you know, just like a more of a sales lead based website, it might be that you go to that page and then the menu is more based around that product or service. 
rather than everything being generic like you know you've got the kind of about us and all these kind of things you could generally have it more service based so they're not all tucked away in a sub menu they're just sort of spread out over there as more of kind of like a you know it's a, it's a lead and salesy type thing so yeah you've got um you've got plenty of options in here to like i say you can add you can add multiple conditions for you know excluding it from from certain places and once you've done that you'll find these things will start to appear so we could go back out of this if we just exit that i won't save it because the the conditions changed beyond what we actually needed so we'll just go back to save templates <laughs> again we have to show them and the same goes for you know like this footer we hit edit with element or you can see i've got this footer here where we've got like a we've got a form a button a bit of stuff at the bottom you know so we can just come in again go into our display conditions and on this one again we we just want to do it so it's all the pages on the site hit save and then what we should have when we come back is essentially this and you know there's a bit of styling to be done you can see the content sort of fallen underneath the header so that's not ideal but um you know that's when you then can come to start styling your actual your main pages so it might be that you you have like certain page templates and things like that which i haven't done in this it's essentially just a, a quick video just on how to you know just just how to get these actually showing so um yeah hopefully you found that helpful if you have give the video a like um if you want to see more videos about elementor there's a playlist on this channel and please subscribe